Vero Beach, a small town in Florida. It's got beaches, as you'd expect. It has a lagoon. It has parks. And it also has murder. One murder in particular has the residents of Vero Beach riveted on the Indian River Courthouse this week. Asbury Lee Perkins is accused of murdering his wife, Cynthia Betts, in November of 2015. There's not much question whether he did it. The issue is, is he actually responsible for it? We're going to give you in this report all that you need to know to understand the background to this case. Cynthia and Asbury started out as a very happy couple. Uh, and so happy, in fact, that they uh, ran a semiconductor business together. The marriage started out fine, but then it kind of got a little bit rocky. So rocky, in fact, that there were a number of domestic violence calls that Cynthia made to uh, the local police. But let's step back and take a look at where this all took place in this beautiful Florida town. See, Great Blaine. This is a uh, quiet, quiet little street, and uh, it was right up there, 2120, that uh, Asbury Lee Perkins and Cynthia Betts made their home. Now, once in November, uh, Cynthia's father, who was up in New Jersey and was used to hearing from her several times a week, realized that a week had gone by and he hadn't heard from her, and he wanted to uh, find out what happened. So he called the local police, Indian River County, and uh, asked them to uh, do a welfare check. When they got to the house, uh, they found uh, Asbury there drunk, and uh, what he had done after having shot Cynthia several times with this gun, he uh, wrapped her in a carpet and was sitting there having a few beers, thinking about how to get rid of her, how to dispose of the body. Well, uh, the police immediately arrested him, and he tearfully uh, admitted what he had done. Uh, they took him to the Indian River County Jail, where he has sat except for trips to the uh, courthouse. But wait a minute, you're saying, I thought this murder took place in 2015. Here we are in 2022. What happened? Well, Asbury Lee Perkins was kind of clever for a felon. What he did was to continually change uh, lawyers. You know, every time he changed it, created a, a delay. And now, of course, he's uh, representing himself in this trial. And uh, this, uh, the, they anticipate the trial will be brief, but I'm not so sure. A lot of delay. Perkins' defense is uh, temporary insanity. And what he's got to do is to convince a, a jury. The panel is actually 14 people, nine men, five women, two alternates. Uh, convince them that he was temporarily insane at the time that he uh, murdered Cynthia. Uh, could be tough. Uh, we've tried to get into the courtroom with video cameras to record it, but Judge Vaughn is not having any of that. I think uh, his idea is to get this thing underway and uh, get it on the road. Uh, like I say, from uh, 2015 to 2022, seven years, way, way too long. Well, what we're going to try to do is to uh, keep you updated with the result. We expect that the uh, jury will get the case. I don't know, in a day or two, something like that. And uh, we're expecting a pretty quick uh, thing. There's no question that he did it. Uh, the issue is, was he uh, temporarily insane? He's got no forensics defense. He's got no, I mean, he made admissions to the police at the time. He was drunk. And he admitted that at the time, what he was trying to do was to figure out how to dispose of her body. But we'll see how temporary insanity works. Now the question is up to the jury. We expect that they'll return with a verdict very, very soon. And all the people in Indian River County and in Vero Beach in particular are going to be paying careful attention to it. Stay tuned to the recap 
because we'll give you the full report when the jury returns with its verdict. That's all for now. While I was preparing this report for broadcast, actually what happened was the jury went out. Uh, they came back in less than an hour and they had found uh, Asbury Lee Perkins guilty on all counts of uh, murdering his wife. And what was interesting during the trial was that even more information came out about uh, actually how the police arrest of, uh, of Perkins uh, took place. Uh, they, it, they knocked on the door, uh, asked for his wife. He told them that uh, he was in his shorts and he was uh, intoxicated. Uh, they ended up kicking down the door. They went in the house and they found her in the laundry room with three gunshot wounds to the head. Now, in the trial, uh, Perkins' claim of temporary insanity was based on the fact that he said that uh, her constant nagging uh, just triggered this, uh, this irrational, uh, uh, ir irrational act and uh, forced him to... Uh, to uh, uh, take out the gun and shoot her. Well, uh, the the nine men and uh, however many, oh, I guess three women on the jury, uh, just weren't buying it. Uh, I mean, nagging. Maybe in certain cases you can see it, but uh, they did, absolutely did not see it in this case. So anyway, you've got the complete background on this, and it's fully resolved. Now a sentencing date has not been set. I expect that will probably be set later today. And we'll find out. This was a uh, capital punishment case, so there's an excellent, excellent chance that uh, Asbury Lee Perkins may be, uh, may be completely done for. Anyway, this little addendum to the report, this closes it out. And that's the complete story of Asbury Lee uh, Perkins and uh, the late Cynthia Betts. Everybody have a nice weekend.